Hello everyone. Uh, you may have caught wind of the fact that for a while now we've been thinking about changing things at our two evening services at five and seven. And over the summer, uh, a paper was given for people to look at and then there's been a PCC meeting at which a decision has been taken about what to do about it. So the result of this change is that from Sunday the 4th of November, there will no longer be a five o'clock and a seven o'clock service in the evening but we will move to having a six o'clock service uh, with no specific children's group, but hopefully as you'll see accessible to some younger people. The first thing to ask is why the change? Well, for quite a while now, there's been a recognition, particularly at five and some of our services at seven, that resourcing those services has been a real issue, uh, trying to find enough children's workers, technicians, musicians, etc. It got to such a stage that doing nothing was not an option. At the same time, while we've seen growth in some areas of our evenings, we've seen diminishing returns, if you like, in others. When the five o'clock was first planted a number of years ago, there were a lot of children who did sport in Sunday morning who wanted to come to an afternoon service. That number has diminished. Meanwhile, our Ignite service, where we've been encouraging youth and young adults, has been growing. So what will this six o'clock service look like? Well, the first thing to say is it will be multi-generational, by which I mean it will be good for adults and youth and some children. By children, I mean probably children of the upper primary age end. It's very clear to get the message across that this is not a youth service. We want everybody there as family learning from each other across the generations. For those primary age children, it would be particularly great to be able to see teenagers modelling faith and worship and following Christ. So having said it is multi-generational, there will be a particular emphasis on encouraging the gifts and the leading of youth and young adults, by which I mean anyone under the age of 51. <laughs> no, not really. Anyone of that teenage stroke young adult age group. We are in a unique but also a responsible position to invest as much as we can in encouraging the ministry and development of young people. So alongside this, because we will only have one service, we will also have further time on a Sunday evening after the service. And Natalie has been developing a strategy for discipling young people, which will involve social events, which they can bring friends to, but also very focused discipleship sessions after the worship gathering, which can be complemented by their midweek cells on the other fortnight. At the recent family weekend away, we saw how this can work as youth and children and adults were able to worship God passionately together. What else will this service look like? Well, it will be very focused on sung worship and prayer and giving space for God's spirit to work among us. There will be the sharing of gifts. There will be testimony. There will be a culture of expectancy. So what challenges and opportunities does this say to each of us, particularly those who've been at five and seven? Well, any change gives an opportunity to refresh what's been going on. And I think I see some spin-offs um, that might affect all of our services. We will still have four services with different emphases going on on a Sunday. If people can't find a place to belong in four services, I don't know how many we need. So there may be an opportunity to refresh what we do in the morning in different ways if people are moving around and changing when they worship. This is a chance to you to reflect on the gifts you have and where they might best fit. And there'll be lots of conversation and communication about that. If you've been serving at five and seven, it will be particularly important to talk about what the possibilities are for you continuing to serve, perhaps in a different context. There will be that sense of loss that comes from uh, not having the same format. But those qualities of worship, of God's presence, of prayer, 
will still be very much at the heart of what we're about, as will collecting people together to pray regularly and seeking prayer for healing. Another thing you may want to consider is whether moving from the morning to the evening might be a good idea, particularly at our 10.30 service, because we're so full, it doesn't necessarily encourage growth. And having two or three families maybe move to the evening might both give energy to the evening gathering and also free up a sense of space in the building in the morning, allowing us to grow more. It could be a very positive development. As I say, there will need to be quite a few conversations over the next few weeks. Please do get in touch with me uh, if you're particularly wanting to talk about it. Uh, I will be hanging around on the 7th of October after the 5 and the 7 to talk to anyone specifically who wants to bring up questions or has ideas. So thank you for listening. I hope this has really clarified uh, this opportunity and uh, that you will feel very much part of what God is doing as we continue to evolve and grow and have different seasons in our church life.